In this video, we're looking at positional release to this sternocleidomastoid, the SCM. As you can see, the sternal attachment here through to the mastoid, and we need to take appreciation of other landmarks, such as the carotid arteries. We do not want to place pressure directly here. If on some patients you are struggling to actually see or get the landmarks for the SCM, you can ask the patient, as they rotate the head away, to slightly move into flexion. So they lift the head and you can see all the line of the SCM and its attachment sites, and then they can relax. Now through your examination and your palpation, you will find that painful area. We found it here towards the superior end. Once you've located that painful site, you now need to find the position of ease. Now, again, that can be rotating away, rotating towards, extending, side bending. Just find the position of ease. Once you find this, you can actually let go of the contact and then hold the patient in this position of ease for 90 seconds to two minutes, as we've said before. Once that time has elapsed, you need to bring them back to neutral, which will be the resting position that you can see here. And from this, you want to add in some gentle movements generally to the neck area for the SCM. So here we're just gently mobilizing the cervical spine. Then you can add some soft tissue techniques to the area and some form of mobilizations. Again, if you exacerbate the problem as you're treating, stop, bring them back to the neutral, let them control their breathing. Again, locate the painful area, find their position of ease, wherever that may be for this patient, and repeat the 90 seconds to two minutes. Once that's elapsed, as they're controlling their breathing, come back to the neutral, and then move back into your attempts to improve the quality and the quantity of movement. 